How's it going everyone? Today I have a little tutorial for you all. How to get this to work. This is a standard thing that's in Deltarune already. And you can just access it. But it's a little broken. But there's fixes for it and I'll show you those. Now if you look into the description, there's the Undertale mod tool. This little piece of software is needed to change the files. So download it right here. I know it says Undertale mod tool, but Deltarune works just fine with this. I already have it of course, so I don't need to download it again. Now let's open this thing. Now, first off, you're going to need to open your data.win file. It's really easy to find if you just go into Steam, you right-click Deltarune, you go to Browse Local Files. Here you'll find a bunch of stuff. You're going to need the Chapter 4 windows. This is the location that you need. Now, back here, you just open it up. It's going to load a little bit, and here you'll find a bunch of stuff. And I'll explain what you need. Now I've just inserted a fresh Deltarune Chapter 4 data.win file. It doesn't have any changes to it, so you can just follow along what I'm doing. Now the first thing is that you're gonna find this little piece of code. This one. DML Global Script SCR Debug. And you'll be seeing this. Essentially you gotta get into debug mode, so you just gotta get rid of this line. That's all you do. This just puts you into the limited debug mode that this game has right now. Just a warning before you save, I recommend backing up this file and maybe also your save data. It's just good practice, you know, just making sure you don't lose anything. Now you can open up Deltarune and if you load into a little dog, you know, little Tony Fox over here driving in his little car, then you know you're doing it right. Now I'm going to direct you to another link, the Rhythm Chart Editor Fan Fixes by Timco. This guy has figured a lot of it out. He's way smarter than I am. Just download this. Now once you open it, you'll see a couple of scripts. Now essentially these scripts fix different things, but they're all really useful to just add in. Now, how do you add these? You can read this, it, it explains it, but I'm right here, so I'll just explain it right now. If you just look at it, the name of the file just says where it is. So if you just go into the Undertale module, you go here. And what you do is you just open it up, and you just replace the whole thing. Select it all, and just, just replace it. And we'll do that with all four. Boop. Now, once you've done that, I recommend opening up the scripts tab, and you'll have a utility called Fancy Room Select, which is a really nice thing to have. It basically makes it so you can press F3, and you can go into any room you want. Now we're just saving that, and now we're ready. Let's go into chapter four. Now, once you've done that all, you can press F3, and you can go to room 265, and you made it. Now, these are all the existent ones. So for instance, here, Field of Hope and Dreams. There's no chart here, like you just press R. You, know, you, can, you can check out Race Up Your Bat, the chart. But you're here to make custom charts. And I'll explain how you can do that. Now, everyone has a little bit of a different way of doing it. Susie, the drummer, gets a two, but if you hold shift, I use this for the crashes. This is her left hit. Now, Chris, he's pretty self-explanatory. Use this left and right. Now, Ralsei, they actually work with three lanes. And they always hold, but you can remove the hold and it becomes a clap. Now, we're gonna go back into the Undertale mod tool, because you need to change some of the coding. Now, we just go to Rhythm. You'll see a bunch of this code, right? But here, this one's important. If you wanna change a song, you can change the audio file here. I'm gonna change Knock You Down. I'm gonna change that to the world revolving. The world revolving is just, you know, it's just joker.ogg. Now, there's a whole bunch of more stuff here that I'll explain for you. The BPM that's pretty self-explanatory. You're just gonna have to look up the BPM of your song. Now, the world revolving is 95 BPM, but I'd recommend charting it in double time, because that just gives you more freedom. Now, note spacing doesn't matter too much. This track start is a really nice piece of code. This essentially makes it so if you put this here, the song doesn't start right away, so it gives you a little break. The track length, you gotta look up how long your song is. Now the Volt Revolving is about a minute 42, so that's like 102. The value is 102. So we'll just change it to 102. Now the note speed is, uh, is basically the scroll speed, if you're aware of normal rhythm game slang. Just change it, because it's a bit of a fast song. Now, you have your song ready here, but you're gonna need to make some more changes. If you go into GML and Global Script SCR Rhythm Game Draw, you can change the text that the door gives. So we're changing Knock You Down to the world revolving. We're just gonna add this. Now, this one's also important. GML object ob obj rhythm game editor create zero. This one's really important too, because this one decides on how your chart save data looks. I'm replacing knock you down, so I'll just change this to revolving. Now, with that, you have it all ready. So we're gonna go into Deltarune. 
265. And you have the world revolving. Now, if you have a bigger screen, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be as big, but I have a bit of a tiny screen. It's all pretty self-explanatory. You can save with you, you can load with I. And normally if you try to save and load save data, it crashes, but those fixes we added earlier fixes that. My, my stuff loaded already because I have those fixes. And you'll see here, I have already charted this. This is Chris, this is Susie, this is Ralsei. This is just something I've already charted. If you want to play, you just chart this, but if you want to play it in the rhythm game, you're going to need to do one more tiny step, which is just adding the chart into the code. It's pretty easy. Just go back into your Undertale mod tool and you look for this one, Rhythm Game Note Chart. Now here you can see, this is the function for Susie. This is the drums. You gotta keep close attention to the arc zero number. Knock you down is arc zero ten. It's a song ID essentially. So if we just go arc zero, it goes equals ten. Here we are with Susie's code. But essentially if you just go into here, you open up the drums export. This is just what you have to paste in. And we just copy over the data that you saved. All you do is just, you just replace it. Yeah, that's it. That's not hard. Now here, lead. The lead, that's Chris. So we're gonna scroll down again. We found arc zero, 10, there it is. So we just go in here again. You just go to the default export. Now, this is Chris, select it all. And then finally here, we have vocals, which is Ralse. copy it in. And boom, the chart's just in now. Now you can go into Delta Rune. And now we're not gonna go into the debug state at all. Well, we're still in the debug state, but we're not gonna go into a debug. We're just gonna go to the main menu. We're just gonna go to my save data. We're just gonna walk over. And now I've replaced Knock You Down, so the door already exists for it. I didn't change the preview noise, but there you go. Now we're just gonna play the world revolving. There's still stuff being worked on, like this custom little menu for it. It's being worked on, but it's not complete yet. I might make an update video when it's finished. Now I hope that you enjoy this charting menu and go nuts.